Beer pong strategies. Now, I will preface this all with house rules. There are house rules. You have your own house rules. Everybody has their own house rules. So everything that I discuss is are house rules that I have, or I'll tell you that they are not my house rules, but I want to discuss them in this clip. Um, first of all, strategy, you need your proper beer pong attire. My team shirt. Um, you need to warm up, get yourself ready for play. It's a very high intensity sport. Um, <clears throat> and then, um, yeah, you're ready to play. Uh, so, there are a few strategies. One, um, which I do not agree with, uh, because I consider this game to be a gentleman's game, and whoever makes all of the cups is who wins. But uh, I know a lot of houses, a lot of people play um, with distraction. Um, a little bit of lift up shirt, a little bit of pull down the back of the pants, a little bit of the truffle shuffle, um, you know, get people distracted, pull some nipples out, you know? What are you gonna do? I don't necessarily agree with that, but I know that a lot of people use that method to to win beer pong games um, because boobies distract me. The next strategy I would say would be uh, bouncing. Um, in my house, bouncing is legal. Um, in our house, bouncing is legal. Um, there is one stipulation. Uh, when you bounce, as soon as the ball hits any surface on the table, the opponent can knock it away. Grab it, knock it away. If somebody throws the ball and it bounces off a rim, I can grab it. As soon as the ball has hit any surface. So, what's so cool about bouncing, some people find bouncing to be a faux pas. I think that, I think that bouncing takes just as much strategy and talent as shooting the beer pong ball. Simply because you have to hit the ball at the right angle off the table to make it bounce into a cup. Um, and you also have to take into consideration defense. I think that bouncing makes, makes um, defense a much more powerful part of the beer pong game. So, for instance, if my opponent is, is chatting with a couple of girls, or I send a couple of girls over to chat to, with them, <laughs> um, and I bounce the ball, they have to be aware of the game and be ready to stop that ball. Otherwise, if I make a bounce, it's two cups, which is beneficial to our game, obviously, because the point is to knock all of their beers out and not drink any of your own beers, simply because you want to play tons of games. And if you're eight games deep and you've been down to one cup, you're gonna be wasted. Oh, I forgot to say this. Um, you must drink your cup before you shoot. If you make a ball in this cup, I pull the ball out, drink the cup, put it down, and then I can shoot.